Oh, very kind. Thank you, Abif, for the introduction. I'm very glad to meet all of you here. And good morning. I'm very glad to be the、uh, open source、uh, summit participant. And today I will talk about uh, uh, the uh, uh, open source uh, ITC. Um, The building a friendly and uh, shared uh, open networking framework to enable industry digitization. And、uh, many of you,、uh, if you're young, you can remember that、uh, your when your parents get the printed uh, salary um, view, they believe that that is already digital life. But actually, now. The world is fundamentally different from、uh, those years. If we、uh, look at uh, the uh, applications,、uh, if we take utility as an example, the uh, applications uh, uh, based on the generator and the electricity、uh, equipment have、uh, fundamentally changed the people's、uh, way of life, and、uh, the General Motors has become the benchmark of uh, the. Uh, uh, The past thirty years, and uh, in nineteen、um, fourteen,、uh, uh, the Ford production line was uh, uh, launched, and、uh, the mature application of electricity has uh, uh, generated the production revolution. If you take、uh, IT technology as an example. The past thirty years is、uh, the technology invention, and、uh, the IT itself, the constant development, it has enriched people's lives. And、uh, in these thirty years, the next thirty year, that is、uh, to use、uh, the generic technology to、uh, disruptively change these、uh, traditional industries and、uh, lead it into the digitization. So if we look at the ICT technology. The first stage is、uh, marked by the e-commerce and the public cloud. They have、uh, done、uh, through three stages. The first is the early stage, that is、uh, um, to acquire the market, and、uh, there is、uh, no、uh, differentiation of the technology. And in the middle stage, with、uh, the efficiency improved and the resources、uh, getting gathered, the e-commerce and the public. Cloud is、uh, going into the platform development, and differentiated experience has、uh, become the major feature. And in the recent years, for the e-commerce and the public cloud, they have、uh, merged into one cloud, and、uh, they can have the value exchange, and、uh, there are new services and new business model. So. It is very versatile, and for a thin platform, and the scaled、uh, technology, and also the innovation of in enabling technology, this is、uh, the development of、uh, the technology. And、uh, with the uncertainty of the demand, we will see the new value will be generated. For the digitization of the industry, we can look at the early pioneers, and there are three types of technology. The first is for the group buying from 2010 to 2020. There are hundreds of companies emerged and then tidied out, and this industry has gone through the roller coasters pattern of this development. And it is quite fragmented. The、um, sustainable development cannot be realized. The second is a realization. They start from the ERP. This has uh, uh, given the optimization of the internal、uh, process and uh, has uh, uh, achieved the best practices. And the key. Challenge is that it is not open. It is just、uh, the local optimization and the value brought about is、uh, limited. And the third is a remote medical service. This concept、uh, is、uh, put forward 40 years ago, but now、uh, the satisfaction rate is only 50 percent because、uh, the infrastructure, the network, is、uh, not there. 
and today the distant or remote service in the medical field cannot be realized here by today's network. So with uh, the digitization getting improved, the ecosystem platform and also the network will see the structural issues. We need to change the paradigm. The solution is uh, to build the open ITC framework and enable the digitization. There are three layers of this uh, um, architecture. The upper one is the ecosystem. We need to change the development model and to have uh, the ecosystem being enabled. And second is uh, the middle layer, that is uh, from many work to the automation. And the third is the edge, that is uh, intelligent transformation, like uh, the function mobile phone change to the smart mobile phone. So this is uh, with uh, the network as an enabling infrastructure, the ecosystem uh, has uh, helped to drive uh, the edge, and uh, the edge has uh, enforced reinforce the ecosystem and the network development. So we first look at the transformation of the network. It is based on the automation and using the platform to rebuild this way of thinking. The openness is the third party's application. It is not looking at just uh, opening. So without this opening, this will be chimney like silos. Also, try to build the network in a platform pattern. We need to have the significant changes from inside. So first is uh, to open on the certain layers. The 100% opening is uh, making the platform building more and more complicated. So we can start by layer, layer by layer. And uh, this can help us uh, to balance the capability and the um, complexity. And we also need the digital uh, twin to help with uh, the network uh, open. We also need the models and the strategies to build a closed loop and introduce the intelligent and the layer by layer governance. And we also need to simplify the architecture of the multi dimensional um, network. And with the, the modification of the platform and the changes on the structure, the network can be the foundation of the industry digitization. And the second step is uh, for the paradigm change of uh, the edge. There are several points. The first is uh, that uh, the edge needs to be open and uh, suitable for the dynamic industry application. And the second is uh, the computing power, like uh, the duration and the render and also the computing. So it needs to work on the uh, hetero architecture computing power. And the third is uh, to look at the different scenarios and have the self-governance and self-management. And last but not least, the differentiated industry application and the uh, edge computing need to be coordinated with the network. The network and the edge need to work together and to realize the, the protection and adaption to the different uh, industries and to have the intelligent allocation of the resources. So the connection and the computing will be the core concept for the edge building. The ecosystem is about uh, the paradigm of uh, development changed. So we know that the ecosystem it needs a large scale and uh, for the expansion and uh, the um, breakthrough and also the explosive development is very important. So first we need the uh, active development of API and attract uh, our partners uh, to work on the value creation. And second is uh, the automated uh, test and uh, the commercialization integration. And the third is uh, to build a shared application market, and that is uh, to help with uh, the monetization uh, of the value uh, in the 
nuclear global field. So these three will work together and build this uh, echo and value system. So we know that uh, the digital uh, development of the industry will need this uh, open ICT and how to quickly build this uh, framework and how to identify the standard. So we know that on the different layers, there are uh, the different uh, open projects. For the ecosystem, we can have the open B uh, certification to build the shared app store. And also, we can have the ONAP to build the open automation platform and have the Elf Edge to help with uh, the edge computing uh, stack of the technology. The open is the open source is uh, at the coding level and it represents uh, the highest level of the technology, the architecture, and uh, also all these uh, benefits can help with uh, the building of uh, the harmonized uh, digital engineering language. And uh, with the standard, we can improve the efficiency of the operators, the uh, manufacturers, and the industry development. And Huawei has been actively uh, working on the um, Linux-based uh, um, uh, computing development, and like uh, the uh, OpenV, the ONAP, and the Edge, and also the Arduino. Uh, so I participated in this work. I really owe all the achievements to the open source. Without it, uh, we can have nothing but only the plan on the sketch. And this book, the ONAP, is uh, the first uh, Chinese book related to ONAP, and you can get it on our booth. With so many years uh, participation and development in the works in the open source uh, community, I also have my own observation that I want, that I want to share with you. The open and the open source is not just an attitude, it is based on our capability. And open and open source, it is not just a strategy for the development, it is related to the strategy and industrial development. And in the future, for the 2B and 2C, finally, will be realized in the 2B, 8 to up, and to have the most efficient way to realize Realize uh, the consensus in the technology that is very important for the sustainable development. And this is uh, the digital technology. I believe that uh, the ICT need to work together with the traditional industry to build uh, the harmonized uh, and open platform and enable the digitization of the different technology. So there are four key points. The new ecosystem, that is uh, with uh, the empowerment and value promotion, and the network with the platform to build uh, the automatic driving network. And the third is uh, the connection and the compute with the uh, intelligence improved. And also the new collaboration that is open source and the standard to build an efficient um, work pattern like uh, this picture. Now the new world is uh, um, in front of us. The industry digitization has uh, more and more possibilities. The world will be changed by the network and the network.